Headline News. Now, Lane might be tough, but if we can get Russell in here. He's always welcome. He could go right from his surgery on his knee right here to the couch. I will be bringing popcorn for that. <laughs> so John Mara had a clear message for Odell Beckham Jr. at the fall owners meeting this morning. He had a lot to say, actually, but when he was asked about Odell, uh, the comments that Odell made to ESPN... Mara said, I wish he would create headlines by his play on the field as opposed to what he says and does mm. off the field. I think he needs to do a little more playing and a little less talking. Very interesting. Shots fired. He also said he's embarrassed about the Giants 1-5 and five start, and it's pretty disappointing, and I am sick about it. All quotes from him this morning. Listen. Flamethrower. The media to a fault defends um, Odell Beckham because they like him and he's fun. He's a young kid. and But your franchise player has got to make more news on field than off field. And right now, Odell Beckham, th 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 this is the danger of going in on a young, impressionable, outspoken perimeter player as your franchise face. And Eli's not one of these kind of strong, defiant uh hyper aggressive leaders so he's just taken over the locker room i mean when you look at eldell's comments though i'm i'm trying real hard to find the lie well I, again i told you this last week being authentic is important but there are times you're better to keep information to yourself there are times that you shouldn't say everything you think now now i he I'm, also john mara also you know approved the the move last year had to have approved it when they benched Eli. Yeah. And now they're in the position where they have to ride out with Eli this year. Yeah. I mean, I'm pretty sure we're both watching the same game, so yeah. Odell can't throw the ball to himself. I, I mean, I, I, I understand yeah. it. Like, he he probably doesn't want extra noise around a 1-5 and five team, but Odell wants to win, and you just paid Odell all this money. You knew who Odell well, was before you paid him the money. Yeah. What did you expect him to do? Now he's going to change? No way. Yeah. If anything, he's going to be more outspoken. Giants are a mess. Jets, here's what's funny. Last 15 years, the Giants have been an accounting firm and the Jets have been a circus. Now, the Giants feel like a circus and the Jets, quiet, run the ball, play defense. Sam Darnold, Todd Bowles feel like the accounting firm. No nonsense with the Jets, nothing but nonsense with the Giants. It's flipped from what it previously was for the last 10, 15 years. He was also asked about taking Saquon Barkley and not taking quarterback, and he said we went with the best player in the draft. I still believe he was the best player in the draft. I don't think Saquon was a bad pick, but... I'd take quarterback. You needed to take a quarterback. Yeah. All right, so the Browns got blown out at home this weekend by the Chargers, and Jarvis Landry and a few of his teammates left the locker room before fulfilling media obligations. That was something head coach Hugh Jackson wasn't aware of until Monday. Let's watch him become aware. I did not know that. You know, um, I'm disappointed that happened. There's nothing to run from. I mean, when you don't play well, when we played good, everybody stayed. You know, when you don't play well, don't run. You know, there's nothing to run from. You know, um, again, we have to do everything the right way. Set the culture. So what did Landry do? They left the locker room. Him and several other players left the locker room before doing their media obligations after oh, the game. Oh, God. You grow up. Like, you know, just grow up. You got, you know, if you're going to take all the money and take all the fame, you got to sit there and occasionally answer a question. Be a grown up. Yeah, I don't like that. Yeah. I, I, I just don't. I don't see the point of it. Like, you're going to lose games. Right. You're going to lose games badly sometimes. It, it happens. And I get that you're frustrated, but I, Listen, I, even, okay. even if you stand there and you do what Jalen Ramsey did and you know say what? I don't know to every single question, at least you're there. You know what? And this, by the way, this is what Baker Mayfield has to overcome. I said this, is that one of the reasons I like Darnold going to Cleveland over Baker, because Darnold's personality can work with this dysfunction. You know, let's let me defend Baker here for a second. Baker's talented. I don't think he's number one pick talented, but whoever was picked as quarterback, you better be strong as an ox. You better have the right personality because we got dysfunction. Cleveland should be celebrating. They played Pittsburgh good. They played great against Baltimore. They should have beaten the Raiders. They lose, and Landry's leaving the locker room. And by it's the like, way, come on. It's not, you lost to a very good Chargers team. Yes. By the way, Philip again, Rivers is going to be a Hall of Famer. Like you're on, it's, it's, you're on there's pace no to win seven games. <laughs> there's no shame in losing that game. Like obviously you didn't play well, but it's not like 
you lost the Super Bowl, or you lost the you, 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 the season was on the line going to the playoffs, and you lost. Like you lost to the Chargers in the regular season, and that happens. happens. You can't skip media uh, obligations. Finally, the Dodgers face the Brewers tonight in Game Four of yeah. the NLCS yeah. on FS1 at 8:30 Eastern, 5:30 Pacific. Yeah. This could be considered a must-win for LA since they're down to two one already. Yep. And they have by far the best power lineup in baseball. The Dodgers yes. do, but they haven't. But Machado is the only one hitting. Yeah. Manny Machado is the only one hitting. Turner had a big hit last night. Rich Hill goes today for the Dodgers. Uh, he's got a lot of junk. The Brewers, by the way, Dodgers have gotten to the Brewers pen a little except Josh Hader, who is unhittable. Josh Hader is the little league pitcher with a mustache. He literally is unhittable for the Brewers. So if the Brewers lead going into the eighth, good night. But the Dodgers... This has been a close series. So the Dodgers, somebody besides Manny Machado has got a hit for the Dodgers. Yeah, and the Brewers are starting Gio Gonzalez, who only pitched two innings in his game one yep. start. Again, that's at 8.30 Eastern, 5.30 Pacific tonight on FS1. We'll be watching Best Thing on TV tonight. Joy Taylor with the news. Well, that's the news. And thanks for stopping by. The Herd Live Well, news. it is, uh, let, let, let me just say this. Uh, so...